Good afternoon or good morning. Welcome to Remember How It Was. I am Justin Washington down in Greensboro. I'm with my sister. I am Wambui Bahati up in New York City. And it's the 4th of July. I, I was just asking my brother if he thought it was appropriate for me to wear this shirt today. And he said. I said, yes, it's a very, <laughs> it's 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> it's fourth of yes, July. You look, very, you, look, you look very appropriate. I should have wore some uh, colors. You make me feel. Well, bad. you got on. Well, you got on the white. <laughs> I got on. The, I got on the white. I got on the white. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, yeah. that's something because when we were growing up, we were taught to celebrate Fourth of July. Uh, we would go to every now and then there was a parade. I don't. I don't remember Fourth you know, of July too much, no, but I remember was, going. You know, I was thinking. I don't remember it either, but I know. That it was always fireworks. And, and yes, and, and, I didn't like the fireworks. It just sounded like, like sounded like <laughs> gunshots. And um, to this day, I, I still don't like. I like seeing seeing the, the things when they burst. But that's it. I, li I like it. the visual. I like the visual. I don't, I don't visual. like the, all the noise. I like the visual. It's a great visual. But the stuff that stuff kind of scares me. That's I'm, exactly I'm how about, I feel. About, let me tell you about that. I had a, I, I used to have a dog. Well, I still, I, my daughter has a dog, small dog here now, but the dog used to go crazy, man. I used to have to drug the dog for 4th of July. Because, oh my. And, I, and, and Courtney's small dog, one 4th of July, the dog, we didn't see the dog. We don't know what the dog was. We just don't know what it was. And three days later, we found out he was under the house in the backyard. He was scared three days later. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it can be very because here in New York, I haven't heard it too much this year, but in years past, up until last year, even we would start hearing the fireworks. Guys would be throwing things in the street like week a week before Fourth of July. They'd have these yeah. and you just didn't know which was a gunshot and which was a firecracker. And it was just scary so you were just running from everything you because you didn't know and i always well, felt well, go ahead you know that they, they start selling fireworks about two weeks before fourth of july anybody can buy the fireworks but here there's a place you can go in south carolina right across the border and you can buy kind of like the, i've been there uh, some deadly deadly fireworks it's in like a warehouse border. right it's just like yeah. a warehouse full of yeah. uh explosives <laughs> Yeah, people and people make special trips there just to blow up stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I was there, but I, I I have been there to that place. I don't know how I came to be there, but I I know that place, and it's just like wow, <laughs> you could do some serious yeah, yeah, damage yeah. with the stuff from here. And brother, yeah. I tell you, I'm fanning because <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> now I, I, I do I, have. I a, see you. I see you. I do have an old, the, old. You got, uh, the fan, you, got the, you got the fan and the tissue going on. You got. Oh <laughs> yes, it's like oh yeah, it's you know it feels you know what you know it feels like Goldsboro hot. Remember Goldsboro used to be hotter than Greensboro, but Goldsboro yeah, just felt yeah. hot. Um, when we would go down there in the summer, in it, seemed like, it seemed like we had special flies in Goldsboro. <laughs> yeah, special flies. <laughs> <laughs> Goldsboro, but uh, Goldsboro was a special hot. But then, did we? There was no air conditioning in Goldsboro, even in even up until the the time they, our parents died, grandparents died. They just had uh, floor fans, right? That's right. No, That's right. Uh, um, That's right. That's right. no air conditioning at all. But even outside in Goldsboro, it just felt. Like the sun was lower. <laughs> That's how it felt to me anyway. But um, I have a sort of an air conditioner that works pretty decent in here. But if I turn it on, it's very loud. So I'm afraid it'll yeah, interfere yeah. with people struggling to hear us, which sometimes yeah. my audio yeah. people are struggling. <laughs> anyway, somebody <laughs> told me that... <laughs> that I'm always loud and you're not as always. I'm just that they when I talk, they turn it down and they try to turn it up when you talk. So I'm going to try to fix that, folks. I, I figured oh. out a way now that I, where I have two. I'm recording two different voice levels at the same time. Justin is one separate stream and I'm one separate stream. And now I feel like I can even them up better. So hopefully there won't be that noise of 
Oh my, well, boy, he's talking, turn it down. <laughs> Justin is saying something, but he's, turn it up. So, yeah. So, okay, so yeah. brother, now that we've gone through all of that, how's everything down there in Greensboro? Everything is fine. Everybody is celebrating. Everybody is fire, doing firecrackers and cookouts and things like that. But I, I want to ask you something. Do you remember okay. the how... I don't remember too much having cookouts at our house, but I remember mama cooking food and we'd eat at the picnic table. Yes, we would bring it from the house to outside. Bring it from the house. Yeah, 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 we'd we cook it in our kitchen. Cookouts. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have, I don't remember us having a grill. Did we? Either. We didn't do cookout. We didn't barbecue. No, we didn't barbecue. We brushed but brought, we cooked food out and brought it outside and ate at the picnic table. We ate it outside, but we cooked it inside. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that was a case of like I kind of feel like it may have been that it was just an added expense and what you something you weren't gonna use all year round to have a barbecue. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm I'm and I'm sure my mother felt that it was gonna taste better if she just cooked it inside yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So, but uh yeah <laughs> yeah but that i don't was... remember like going through the house i don't ever remember a grill being in the basement no well i don't think we ever owned one i don't think i don't think so um uh, i don't even think there was one no down at goldsboro either where we would no, go in the no, summer there no. was no grill no, um you, you ate from the stove every meal yes now you the the, the they we did what you know, we switched up like for the 4th of July, then we would have, make sure we had hot dogs and hamburgers and yeah, yeah. Uh, coleslaw, everything that you would think of as a 4th of July <laughs> thing, but we cooked it inside and took it out, barbecue chicken even, and yeah, took it outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. walk around with a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when, um. Remember when we didn't have, we wouldn't buy, I think the only time we bought the hot dog rolls was for the 4th of July, right? Because <laughs> most of the time we would just have the hot dog with light bread, right? Light, light bread, and, that's and it. And, you, that's and that was your hot dog, because <laughs> I don't remember no hot dog rolls, except for yeah, a special that was occasion. A, that, was a special, that, was a, <laughs> that was a special occasion. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was it was already there. It was already there. <laughs> oh, what I do remember, uh, I do remember sometimes we had those cheap hot dogs and the water would, the dye would come off the hot dogs and the water be red. The water would be, oh yeah, because, because we boiled the hot dogs. Yes. yes. Yeah. We didn't grill them. We boiled them, but that's how everybody did, right? You boiled them. I, that's yeah. That's what. That's the only way I do. Like today, people grill them. They people grill them and maybe put them in a frying pan and salt. or do whatever, do weird things with them. But we boiled everything. We boiled it, and um, yeah. Like <laughs> now today, I cook my hot dogs in the air fryer. <laughs> oh, see, you done. Yeah. You done. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, you got you, yeah. you had me buy air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? You don't like your air fryer? No, I like you it. Don't I like, like it. I like it a lot. But I not like for hot dogs. I, like like, I, I cook everything in there. I cook but, everything. But you know, I cook. You know, I, I I never tried hot dogs in the air fryer. I'm gonna have to try that. I never tried that. <laughs> I cook everything in the air fryer. I don't use the well. I don't use the um microwave at all. I just don't yeah. like it. Yeah. You know, I don't use that at all. So, but yeah. I got an air fryer. I cook hot dogs. I cook fried chicken. I cook baked chicken. I cook hamburgers. <laughs> I cook. <laughs> I, I, cook I, the, I, I, I can't think I, of anything. Think oh, here's years the combination, back. brother. Huh? Wait, wait, I was going to say, here's wait, the combination. Wait. You just need, this is all you need, folks. Okay, you need an air fryer and an Insta Pot. Instant, Insta Pot. Instant Pot cooker. And you cover in that instant pot. You can cook collard greens, and they cook fast. Everything cook fast. Anybody out there that got an instant pot, drop that in the in the comment if you got one. And how fast and how good your greens cook up. If you got an instant pot, you can cook greens. You can cook all kinds of vegetables, beans, boiled eggs come out perfect. Uh, everything. So if you got an instant pot and an air fryer, 
You good? Oh, if you like oxtail stuff like wait that. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a, a podcast or or, or uh, uh, <laughs> now we do it? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just thought you know we were because the topic we had chose. We're gonna get on that. Yeah. Was yeah, about uh, manners and discipline, <laughs> but I just thought it would be such a good day and a good time just for us to just talk and share what we would just normally talk about with the people uh, without having a specific topic. Although it seems like the topic started off as the Fourth of July. No, no, well, well, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna talk about my topic then. What's what your I topic? got going on this week? My topic. What you got going on? My foundation, the Just One Foundation, we're having our fifth annual golf tournament this Saturday, uh, July the 8th at Gillespie Park Golf Course. This is our only fundraiser per year. This funds all our activity for the year. Okay. So come on out. We got great prizes. And I want to tell you one thing. We got a silent auction for Anita Baker tickets. They're great tickets. Come out and put your beard for the silent auction. And we got a lot of uh, raffles. Man, we got a lot of good stuff. And come on out so, and spin the wheel. We got a wheel. And come on out. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to play to spin the wheel. Just come on out. Anyway, so what's the date? My shameless plug. What's the date? September, September the eighth. September the eighth. Wait, September the eighth. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. July the eighth. Don't show up September the eighth. Ju- okay. July the eighth. The event July is on 8th. July the eighth, and it's going to be. Uh, it's a fundraiser for your it's foundation, which is just, just one. Me. And so tell us some of the things that this money goes toward uh, that you, what some of the few, some, of, I know you do a lot of stuff. Name a few of oh, the things so people have an idea. Some, some of the things we, we donate to, uh, there's a uh, pink out. We donate to breast cancer. We sponsor uh, baseball teams. We sponsor a garden. We have a garden that we use some of the money to take care of supplies for the garden. Uh, we, we maintain a cemetery. Uh, we do we do events for the VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars. We make sure our veterans are taken care of when they have the Gold Star Banquet. We sponsor that. Oh man, we. Uh, uh, I know at Christmas, uh, Christmas, Christmas. We we do a Christmas we do a Christmas wrestling match, and what we do we just have the wrestlers come out. We got to you know we got to give the wrestlers something. So if we come out, we get make sure the kids have toys. No the wrestling matches for bring the toys in. And we give them to the community, but the wrestlers, we got to give the wrestlers something for we their gotta, time. Yeah, they need it. Mm-hmm. So, so the money that we raise go for all the incidentals throughout the year. We have engineering camps. We got to make sure the engineers, you know, I want to give the people something to take yes, care of. Yes, people us. need to be paid for their time, they, but the they children. Spend, when they spend their time, yeah, when the engineers come out or when we got aeronautical engineer, when he comes out, we want to make sure that they get something. Because their, their time is valuable too. So we just do a lot of things. We do a lot of off the cuff And Easter, things. I know out, you do something for Easter. That was one of Easter your first Ed events, Cunt. right? Easter, Easter Egg Hunt was our first event. And uh, we got a, had a lot of support. The city came out with the mobile That zoo. was five years ago you had the first Easter hunt, right? The first Easter Egg Hunt. Yep, yep. And so we just moving and grooving. And like I said, this uh, July 8th fundraiser is our only fundraiser. We do it one a year. One a year for just one, and that takes care of us all the year. But if you want to give us a donation throughout the year, we're we're not going to turn you away. <laughs> but okay. This is our one fundraiser. All right. Anyway, that's my so shameless do like they do like they do, <laughs> brother. Give them your um your um website. What's 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 the website for Just One Foundation? They and you know on the website there are a lot of photographs. Some of y'all listening might be in some of the photographs, or you may have a relative or a friend because it's really Greensboro community based what he has done. And if you go to the website, you see a lot of pictures of just stuff and people who live in Greensboro and who are loving Greensboro and giving back to Greensboro. So what's your website? Just one dot org. Just one on, no, just one online dot org. Just just one, one online, online dot, dot org. Okay, I'm gonna put it up there when I go through this. Okay. I'm gonna put okay. your website up there. Yeah. So great, yeah, and, thank you for sharing and, and, that. That's and, and, good to know. Yeah, yeah, wink, wink. There's a there's a donation button on there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So it's gonna be probably just a. I was gonna say it's gonna be a short podcast today, but we are already 15 minutes in. So I don't know. We're just long winded yeah. people. But um, yeah. the day's topic, we wanted to, I, I suggested that we talk about 
discipline and manners and how we were uh, raised in our, growing up in the 50s, 60s, and even 70s mm -hmm. about just a few differences between what's happening now, what happened then at school, how we were disciplined as compared to discipline now, and just plain etiquette. Uh, etiquette. When I think of the first thing I, I think of is about how we used to talk and how we respected our elders. And elders only meant an adult back when I was, when we were growing up, an elders was an adult person. Uh, it wasn't necessarily somebody who was old, but we as children were taught to respect adults, period, in the yeah. story. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I remember, uh, I got a, a little story about this. I was probably about 20 anyway. It was this older guy and that I, I used to always call him, sir. He asked me something, I always say, sir. I always say, so call him, sir. And he just looked at me, he said, why do you keep calling me, sir? And I said, well, I respect you. And he looked at me so weird. But that's how we were raised. We were raised as, uh, yes, sir, no, sir. We were raised like that, you know? But I've had people do the same weird, to me. Yeah, when I say, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, no, ma'am, no, sir. And uh, I've had, people get offended from me saying that because especially if I say that to a, a woman, then it's kind of like she thinks that I'm a, a implying that she's old. And yeah. and I, I tell them, no, it's just uh, respect that that's how when we were growing up, we had to say yes, sir. And um, no, sir. Yes, ma'am. And no, ma'am. And it's it's not um, it's not a racial divide thing. We said yes, sir, to everybody, white, black. We said, yes, yeah. sir, no, ma'am, yeah. to our teachers, I recall. That's how we were just raised. And we never called an adult by their first name. No, no, no. We never no, called no, an adult no, by their first no, name. No. Uh, you were Mrs. I, oh, Brown. Oh, oh, I, 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 wanna, I wanna bring something in that we, we, talked about, we talked about a disease that we have as Washingtons. Okay, <laughs> we, uh, we have this thing where uh, my mother always used to say, how you doing? No matter who you are, how you doing? How you doing? And so we brought to always say, "How you doing?" And me and one, we have talked about times we could be mad as fire at somebody, and we, you know, in our mind, say, "I'm not going to speak to this person. I'm not going to speak to that person." But as soon as you get in that person's face, "How you doing?" "How you doing?" "Yes, like this is so, like so it's an inside story. That's a disease." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Hey, how are you? And um, that's very annoying in some circles here in New York. I know when I used to work in, um, not in the theater as an actor, but later when I worked at the front of the house, uh, uh, front of the theater where the ushers were, I was, I was, my job was to help people who needed uh, translators and hearing devices. And so I would come into work and every day I'd come in and I'd go, hey, how you doing? Hey, hi, hi, Jessica. Hi, hi, Lori. Hi, hi. And um, they just found that so annoying. And like, because <laughs> after a while, no one was saying hi back to me. And I finally got it that if they saw you and you said that on in their heads, they had already seen you that week. They saw you Tuesday when you came in. So now it's yeah. Thursday. Why are you still saying hi? And I, and um, <laughs> I was just, I was just, I was just so annoying uh, to them because I, I couldn't help it. I was like, I'd see you a new day. I'd go, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they'd be like, <sighs> didn't you see me? You saw me yesterday. But um, I don't know. So and I think that's uh, most of the people that I know. I'm going to call somebody's name who is just so friendly. Uh, uh, you know, all my all the my North Carolina people are friendly because I think that's how we were raised. But I, when I think of when I hang out with Doris Donahue, man, that girl is so friendly. <laughs> and she just says, and I know I'm thinking girl in New York, they would try to lock you up because she was like, hi, how you doing? What's going on? How you doing today? How's your sister? How's your mother? You know, and that's just like how we are. And I'm not, I'm not just singling yeah. her out to yeah. say that, but I, that's the person yeah. when yeah. I visit that I hang out yeah. most with down in Greensboro. Yeah. And so to this day, she's just still got that going. And I believe it's just the way we um, were raised. Now I'm sure there's one or two of us who like, uh oh, <laughs> but, I, 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 I got another story. I got another story. This, this, one, okay. this one kills me. 
I, I, when I was in the service, I was on the ship, the USS Eisenhower. And I was like a second or third class petty officer. Anyway, my assignment was I was a mess deck master of arms. What that means is I had a little badge like the police. And I work on the mess decks. I would make sure everybody, the lines are going smooth. I will make sure everything happened. It was like a two or three month assignment. Anyway, this one guy thought I was doing something wrong. He turned me into my, to my superior. Anyway, and I'm like, man, I, so I, I went to my mama mode. I was, I'm going to get this bad guy back, but I'm not going to touch him. So I had a group of guys, younger guys that worked for me, that, that all their job was cleaning tables and doing this. Every time this guy would come to eat, I would send two or three guys over the table, say, clean his table, make sure he has whatever he wants, speak to him. And they knew what I was doing. And I would see the guy, I would say, how you doing? And my guys would always come up there, cleaning his table. Then all of a sudden, then the guy reported me for being too good to him. And I thought, <laughs> he, he reported, and my, 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 my superior pulled me in the office and said one day, he said, I know what you're doing. Just leave the guy alone. Yeah, so yes, I, I, killed, yeah. I killed them with kindness. Kill, killing them with kindness—that works. That works when they, when they, when those are those few little little devils that try to come at you. You just yeah. kill them with kindness. They don't know what to do with that. You, know, they can't, you can't handle too much kindness. You can't handle it. Well, I, know, I know, I know, I know. I have called you before on the phone, and I said, "How you doing?" You says, no, "You, you sound too happy." Yeah, I'm like, tear down, <laughs> just tear down. <laughs> now, there are those days, there are those days where it's like, ain't nothing going right today. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, when you left the house, Roberta left the house first, then you left the house, and that left me and Joel. Mm -hmm. And I guess... Uh, and mama worked her hours. She worked 11 at night to seven in the morning. So sometimes while she's sleeping, she go to bed about maybe lay down, not go to bed, but lay down about five o'clock, just trying to get some rest for her night shift. And I would be making noise, or Joy would be making noise. And she and she had this thing where that bedroom shoe would come around the corner. She'd throw that shoe out. <laughs> It would just it had angles, <laughs> and it would it was be on target. It would hit us, and we knew. Shut up, shut up. Oh, we were just getting yeah. alive, alive. And, and, and that was now. That was, I remember that bedroom shoe. I don't know where I was going there, but I remember that bedroom. I remember that bedroom shoe, and um, yeah, we were hit a few times. She she would just if you did something that made her angry, and she she couldn't get to you. She would just take off that shoe and she would throw it. Sometimes it would miss, but a lot of times it would hit. But even if it missed, okay, you were good. You you understood. Back off. Back off. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't remember a lot of us. Uh, I remember when I was little getting some spankings, but mostly because I was a child and any school people, my friends who grew up with me in elementary school knows that I was a crier. So I cried very easily. And there was something that my mother did that I said I was never gonna do. And I, to this day, never did it to one of my kids. It's like, so you start crying, then they spank you and say, stop crying. But you can't, cause now they just spanked you. And now they're saying, okay, let me, if you don't stop crying, I'm gonna give you something to really cry for. Meaning I'm gonna spank you again. That just, even as a young, the youngest age in my head, that just never made no sense. I'm crying, so you're going to spank me so I'll stop crying. <laughs> and so, and then you won't give me something to really cry for. No, like, that, that, I, got, I got brutalized like that plenty of times. I got, and I, and I got spanked and talked to, and like, you know, why can't you use talking two words? You just, I don't. Like just speed up the speech and get, get it over. <laughs> just, just, every lick, don't just, do it no more. Use two End words, story. two words per lick instead of one word per lick. And I remember the I remember the ultimate shutdown was that I my music was that that side eye. <laughs> yes, because I remember being in church with her, and if I got too fidgety or started talking to, whispering to people on the other side, friends on the other side. All my mother had to do was look at me. <laughs> and it was like, you know, you would have thought she slapped me. It was like, got it. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I was like, oh God. 
<laughs> but um, but I don't remember in our house too many belt. I used uh, their kids used to say they would get some kids would say they get spanked with a belt. Oh, what it was is we. I don't think we were really belt into belts switching. No, but I don't think I was ever. We didn't. But I, it was a I switch. I, I caught you, it all. You caught, you caught the belt, <laughs> too? <laughs> see, I never caught the belt. And yeah, I never yeah. felt... I See, I, I'm i that person that always felt I I didn't deserve it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, it was... I didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve to be spanked. I didn't deserve it. I know my... You know, I recall my first spanking I ever got was actually at Providence Church, outside Providence Church. And it was because... I was, my mother wanted to leave me in Sunday school and oh my God, I just broke down. You would have thought people were trying to kill me in there so bad that they had to go get her to come get me. And she's, and that was one of those times it spanked me for crying. <laughs> and um, I just, uh, I just felt I didn't deserve that. I just felt like I missed my mama. I wanted to be with my mama. Why are these people trying to make me stay in this room that I... <laughs> I don't want to be in here. I want to be with my mama. And then my mama, I'm loving my mama and my mama spanking me. And uh, so that's my first memory of ever being uh, really well, disciplined. I mean, I, spanked. I, I, I got to get a shout out. I got to give a shout out to one of my favorite teachers. He's passed on now, Mr. James Payne. I had okay. this guy, Caldwell School in the fifth grade. And he was, uh, he was a good guy on the same chance is he was a lunatic because he was a very good guy everybody <laughs> respected him and this is where i'm going with this because back then they used to brutalize you and and what it was and he when, he, when you say brutalize what do you mean with this little i'm getting to that with this little scrappy head a little scrappy he, used to oh, head. he, he had called a, it doc yeah, oh. people look at this remember doc and actually he took mr payne taught me how to spell because i was a goofball i would not spell and so the spelling test for every word that you miss he hit you in the hand Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you know, so I remember I had this chart, man, and my spelling increased. I remember how to spell words at that time, inside, outside, because like this guy's not gonna be beat me. This guy's not gonna right. be beat me. <laughs> and I'm telling you, what's <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> But I love you know because I used to actually as a, as an adult, uh, I would stop by and visit him as an adult. You know, I would visit yeah. him. Sitting, we sitting. We became two. But back at yeah. the time. He was, you could say, actually, some some social situation now, you can go around kids and you can say James Payne and a fear will go through their body right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, adults, you can say this. But, <laughs> this um, guy, but he was well respected. But Everybody you, but here's the thing. You got, you got your spelling done. You you learned yes, to spell. You yes, got, you he, determined he, that you're going to get that spelling right. Yeah. And, and a lot of times uh, calling the parent depending on what it was, it was just like, yeah, well, he didn't do his spelling. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, do what you got to do. <laughs> but, um, I don't, I don't remember. I chose this topic, but I don't remember a lot of the disciplinary things that were going on at schools. I, 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 okay. I'm without sounding like a goody two shoes. I don't remember being disciplined having to be disciplined, except to just being told to be quiet or just, but I don't remember, I don't remember anybody hitting my hand. I don't remember anybody doing, it's just they wrote stuff on my report card or, yeah. I, but I don't remember yeah. being bad, you know, causing a lot of ruckus. I remember being silly and I remember being a little disruptive sometimes, but I just remember it being like smooth. Now, maybe that's, you know, you know how they say we remember stuff, how we need to remember it in order to keep living how we need to live. <laughs> so maybe yeah, that's yeah. one of the things that I'm, I'm not remembering because, um, because there is some trauma associated with that. But right now I don't remember uh, those things. I remember that the teachers, some of the teachers were stricter than others, but I remember that in general, most of the teachers had your best interests in mind. They just had different ways of going about how to get what they felt the best out of you. They just had different methods, but none of those methods were, you know, um, what do you call, where you need to call the police. <laughs> yeah. But that you know, I know I, of. I that I know of. 
I said I, I said in an earlier video that I don't I, I wasn't a bad kid, and this is kind of oxymoron what I'm saying, but I would I got caught. I used to get caught. I wasn't a bad kid, but seeing like what I would the things that I would do, I would uh -huh. get caught. I would I wasn't caught. good at finishing finishing that whatever I was doing, I would get caught. So yeah, and I, that's an oxymoron, but I was I wasn't a bad kid. Some kids got away with murder, didn't get caught, but whatever I attempted to do, I got caught. So that kind of so just says, <laughs> knew you weren't supposed to be doing that. So we didn't yeah, talk. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're already 30 minutes in and I don't like to make uh, okay. the podcast too long. We didn't really talk about. Uh, well, we talked about discipline just a little bit. So I guess this podcast will be Fourth of July and and a touch of discipline. <laughs> but we'll come back yeah. and revisit this subject because we also want to talk about manners and how we not only with the yes, sir, and no, sir, but how we were taught our parents, <laughs> at least our mother, and a lot of the mothers in our community was very, were very into us, you know, eating properly, using the right tools to eat, and yeah, just yeah, being definitely. able to carry definitely. ourselves no matter where we went in the world that we yeah, would be yeah. um, able to represent well. And so... Yeah. Um, no, no slouching. No slouching. No slouching. <laughs> Brother, do you have anything you want to add to this podcast, which has been pretty much all over the place, but uh, has been place. a lot of fun just catching up with you on this 4th of July. <laughs> what is it? 20, what it is. Uh, this, 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 2023, 4th of July. Who who would have thought? This, and this, we, this, this, this has been a great visit because the other day we talked the day that you, you did an excellent job the day I wasn't on. Uh, but when we talked about me, uh, about not filming that day, and then all of a sudden we got to talking, and we, and you said something. You know, we just did the episode. Yeah, we just <laughs> we weren't filming it. We were just talking on the phone, and I said we just did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about not doing one. But anyway, that's how we roll. That's that's that's, that's, that's what it loves at. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody who um, watches the videos, and I hope that you. Find them enjoyable. If you have any suggestions of any topics that you would like us to talk about, or if any of you out there feel that you would like to join us uh, one week, uh, we would really love that. Wouldn't that be great if somebody joined us and shared their memories uh, with us as well? So that would be great. So if you would uh, have any suggestions for topics you'd like to hear, or anything in Greensboro that you want us to touch on, or if you yourself would like to come on and be with us on one of our podcasts, that would be fantastic. So with that said. Okay. I see a, a friend down in Georgia. Do you see her? A friend down in Georgia? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, so <laughs> you're saying uh, they don't necessarily have to be anybody that wants to come on and talk about their oh. memories from that. <laughs> So you wouldn't be talking no. about Evelyn, would you? Yeah, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> oh, okay, huh? I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, and I'm gonna see if Miss Evelyn would like to be our first guest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Miss Evelyn, you know okay. who you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, Miss. Okay. All right. So we're gonna wrap it up for today. We're, we're just being silly now, but we love you all. Thank you for watching. Um, until the next one. Are you going to say? Right. Are you going to say bye. anything? Oh, bye bye. No, this this is for memories. This is for memories. It's all right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs>